Welcome to the Imperial Lions Show. We're settling into the new cricket season and the adjustments have been amazing. There's a few interesting initiatives that happened off-season, bringing the teammates closer together. The activities were done with exceptional unity, beginning on a note of compassion, where we gave a helping hand in honor of Tata Mandela's legacy. Uh, today is the um, Central Gauteng Lions um, 67 minutes um, for Nelson Mandela Day. And um, yeah, we came here in Orange Farm to obviously do our bit in helping um, the school and the community. And yeah, it's, um, it's been fun and interesting. Mandela Day is a day for people to give back. And I mean, we live all in, in different works of life. And on a day like this, we just need to, to look back and say, what can I do to make a difference in others? And for me, that's what Mandela was about. And that's why we are here. The Imperial Lions brought the team together in genuine Mandela Day spirit at the Itamoeng Primary School for a corporate social investment event. In the itinerary was a KFC cricket activation, a garden renewal, a proper school cleaning up and cosmetic maintenance. So we just here to, to, to bring hope to a community that has got uh, a lot of issues to deal with. But we, we are sure the, hope, the, the, the few guys that are here will make sure that when they leave, there's a bit of hope through the medium of cricket. Today we are in the positions where we are because um, you know, people believed in us and um, there's hard work and yeah, your, your, you know, your, your path, most, most of us growing up in townships, it doesn't mean that that's how life is supposed to be. You can get out and, and obviously make a difference in the world. Uh, it's not something that I've got to say I do every day. We are living in Joburg where guys are living in flats and etc. So it's, 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 it's a different experience here. Yeah. I mean, you grow up doing obviously this stuff at home, um, doing a bit of gardening, and doing a bit of cleaning. So yeah, in terms of that, it's been a while, but um, certainly just uh, reminiscing on those, uh, on those days. The guys were ecstatic to see their teammates off season on such an important day in our calendar, reminding us to be selfless like Tata and to carry the leadership baton with pride. The biggest thing I will say to the kids is never lose hope. You know, if you have a vision, if you have goals to achieve, never lose hope. It might be tough, as Mandela showed, that some, it was not all easy. So it will be tough, no one said it will be easy. But perseverance from them, regardless of uh, the background that you come from, it's important. The kids need to learn the importance of uh, playing together as a nation, that we're all the same. There's lots of lessons to learn from each other, that we all one, uh, living under one flag and in, in one country. Today, I think it's very important for, I think, just the citizen of South Africa, but uh, most importantly, as the Lions family, I think it was a very, very good initiative from, from the Lions family for us to come here and, and just spend the day with the kids from the school and just to see some of our teammates as well, since it's been the off-season. The Temba Bavuma Foundation Cricket Clinic was hosted at the Wanderer Stadium for 16 children between the ages of 13 and 17 years old who were hand-picked from the Central Gauteng Lions Hubs. The purpose of the clinic was to focus on improving the skills of batting, bowling and fielding for the aspiring cricketers. The clinic also served as a platform to teach and instill the values of setting goals. What we try to do um, throughout those two days, we, first of all we identify um, 15 to 20 um, cricket players, um, elite cricket players within the Gauteng region. We invite them here at, um, at the stadium and we try to introduce to them what, what being a professional cricketer is about. Throughout the, the two days they go through a series of programs um, from a technical point of view where they focus on their batting, bowling and um, fielding and then they are also um, introduced um, to life skill sessions where they get to understand all the, the off-field issues um, that they need to master, if I could say, to be able to pursue um, a sporting career. Well, Temba is a friend of mine and uh, no, I'm just giving out a helping hand. And what makes it better is that we're both doing the same thing. We, we, we both have foundations and we, 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 we basically, it's a default agreement that we just help each other. And we are, we are friends, we've been friends for a number of years now. So this is, this is just standard, it's default. 
Uh, giving back to the community is something we feel strong about. My relationship with the foundation is that I run the, the clinics, the coaching clinics, and also facilitate uh, um, the building of the um, you know, facilities in the schools. The purpose of the clinic was to focus on improving the skills of batting, bowling and fielding for the aspiring cricketers. The clinic also served as a platform to teach and instill the values of setting goals. Since inception, the Temba Bovuma Foundation has facilitated the emergence and development of young sporting talent from previously disadvantaged areas. As a foundation, what we try doing in essence, it's all about um, holistically empowering um, individuals. Um, like I said, you know, we need to identify these talented um, kids um, and then through that we link them up with the schools where they get access to, to, to quality um, facilities but also education as well and that's where the holistic empowerment comes from. Um, the end product is about ensuring that the kid comes out. Um, if he can't be successful on the sporting field, there's the educational side of things um, and he's in a position of, 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 of influence um, in his place. The gentleman's experience of paying it forward was eye-opening and an opportunity to interact with why cricket is lagging behind in disadvantaged areas. I think uh, we all know that uh, in South Africa that there's plenty of uh, talent in the townships and uh, this was, was one of Timber's ways of um, obviously trying to help in terms of um, you know, um, getting um, those facilities in, in, in the townships and also I mean, that would definitely help um, you know, the, the kids to improve their cricket having good quality facilities within you know, their areas. I think that's been uh, one of the difficulties in our country at the moment is that um, township schools no longer have the facilities um, obviously to, to play um, cricket. Um, we know that um, soccer is obviously priority um, but um, by helping um, with these facilities, we help the kids um, to have you know, these facilities in their, in their own backyard. The Central Gauteng Lions women's cricket team has grown in leaps and bounds in recent time. In celebrating Women's Day this year, they hosted a Women in Sport breakfast themed Conquering Your Everest to encourage durability. The purpose of the breakfast was to just get um, women from all walks of life you know, to get together and to talk about our experience, our everyday experiences, with a particular focus on the struggles that we encounter, um, you know, in the sporting fraternity as, as women. And the outcome was to get us talking, um, and for me as a leader in the organisation, to hear um, what struggles women are encountering every single day, and uh, just to get a, a sense of what the, what, what the problems are, why aren't we reaching our milestones, and hopefully take that back, um, you know, to, to the board and see what we can do about it. Today's event is really about Women's Day, it's about celebrating the women we are, it's about celebrating the women of uh, 1956 that walked up to the union building in unison to make a difference so that we are free today, we enjoy the privileges that we have today and also a day that we reflect on what we are doing to make sure that the next generation of girls actually are able to play you know, the same game that the boys are playing. The breakfast saw women in various sporting codes celebrate the day, inspired by the one and only Sarah Kumalo, the first African female to summit Mount Everest. It's technically a committee here at uh, Central Gauteng where we oversee holistically women's and girls' cricket. Um, there's a group of, of very passionate women on this committee and uh, the idea is to ensure that there is a space for every girl to play cricket within the province. I think if we can ha make it an annual event as well, it will just grow bigger and bigger. We we'll have more um, role models coming to it and be very role models to younger kids as well and just go out to learn from it and go share our experience from this event. And I think it's, it's showing us that we're going in the right direction with women's cricket as well and that we're putting it out there and actually wanting to make a difference. It's inspiring to see that women refuse to settle for counterfeit freedom and that their dialogues capture the truth that is not always popularized. Very powerful reflections indeed. It was just inspirational to just sort of rub shoulders with giants in this sort of industry where they're standing up for women's rights so that we're equal to the men, which is fantastic. 
the future is looking very bright and good for women in cricket as well. Um, purely because from where, when I started and where it is now, you actually see more games on TV, things like that. Girls are getting contracts. Um, the younger girls got something to look forward to as well. Work harder to get into that SA setup, get a contract, play for the next five, six, seven years for South Africa and making it a profession basically. We need to actually back our girls as much as we back the boys. And I always say that the future is female and the future is African. There's already a mountain of evidence that women rock, but this event showed that women in cricket are ready to tackle their Everest. Now we shift from an event ushering women to their highest points to a celebration of an illustrious cricket stadium like no other where first class cricket matches are showcased. The Wanderers Stadium staff honoured the place that hosted some of the biggest cricket events in South Africa such as the Cricket World Cup final boasting a seating capacity of 34,000. Former Test Cricket Captain and Cricket Board of South Africa's Administrators, Dr. Ali Bacher, shared information as one of the veterans who made the stadium what it is today. Hopefully you've been inspired by the informative episode we've had. Stay in the loop through our social media platforms on Twitter at Lions Cricket SA, Instagram at Lions Cricket and Facebook as Lions Cricket. Join the charge, we'll see you next time. This show was brought to you by Sun International, Bass 947, and Enza Construction.